Hey everybody, my name is Will. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to Exploring Photography, where we go over everything that is photography, from the business aspect, to editing, to organization, pretty much everything you need to know to creating a successful photography business. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get uh, 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year, and like it like the video. I know I haven't given you anything of value yet, so <laughs> I'm asking a lot, but uh, it's going to be a really short video. I'm going to show you how to quickly call through your photos, your photo shoots once you've done them to make, to streamline your process and get straight into the fun stuff, which is the editing. Now there's going to be no intro, but I do want to clarify what the definition of call is. Let's look up the definition of call on the internet really quick. And it is to pick out from others, select relatively simple. So when you call through your photos, C U L L, you're simply going through the photos and picking the good ones and discarding, not necessarily just deleting, but not picking the bad ones. It's the method of narrowing down all of your selects. You've probably heard all the selects, the ones that are good that you're going to edit that you're going to deliver to the client. Okay, let's get into it. If you are in Lightroom here, and let's say you took in this case, I took 226 photos of this, this project, and I want to go through and select it all. Now I've already done this, I've delivered it to the client, they absolutely loved it. So we're just going to kind of mock it up here. Now, when you first start calling your images, obviously start with image one, you want to turn on a couple of things. The first thing is something called auto advance. Now, if you go into the library tab, go into photo and then scroll down to auto advance. This is where you can turn it on and off. You have to be in the library tab. If you turn it on and you go into the develop tab, go up to photo, it's not there anymore. So it's kind of a pain in the ass to turn on and off. So here is the shortcut. Let's go to photo. Let's turn it off and then go back into develop. Simply turn on caps lock, just press caps lock. Once caps lock is on, it auto advance is on. So now what does it do? It simply allows you to give it a star or color rating, and then it moves to the next photo automatically. So let's turn it off really quick. So I'm turning auto advance off. If I press a one on the keyboard and I star it to a one star, notice how I'm still on the same photo. So now let's turn caps lock on or turning auto advance on and press two. Now notice how I press two and it immediately went to the next photo. So this will speed up time. So you don't have to constantly select the next photo. Okay. Next, if you want to look and see if your image is in focus, you could zoom in like this, but, or you could press command or I think control command or control alter. I don't know, whatever it is. I'm using a Mac. So on it's, it's a command and I'll put on the bottom of the screen what it is for a PC, but you could press command and plus sign and zoom in or you could push and hold command. You see how you get the little zoom box and then draw a box over them and zoom right in to see if they're in focus. If you like the focus, we're going to give it a rating, a star rating. Now there's a couple of things that you could do here. You can give it a color rating. You see down here where there's all the colors, you can give it a star rating. I prefer to use the stars and here's why. When you're using the stars, you can simply press one through five on the keyboard, one, one star, two, two star, three, three star, and so on. If you want to give it a color rating, you can use six for red, seven for yellow, eight for green and nine for blue. However, if you label it a color, so let's say you want to label it green. So we're going to press eight on the keyboard. We labeled it green. See how there's kind of like a green box around it now and it moved to the next photo. But how do you remove that? Well, if it's a star, let's say I press three stars. So now it's labeled green and has a three star. Uh, well, now I can simply, if I want to remove the stars, press zero. Stars are removed. But to remove the green, there's no hotkey. You have to go up into photo, go down to set color label, and then turn it to none. That is annoying. Now you might be able to customize something in here in the settings, but I just don't use the colors unless there's a specific purpose because picking my selects is, should be super fast. One, two, three, four, five. Generally I'm only using one stars. I use maybe two for a different set of photos or photos that I took during it that I want to use personally or something like that for advertisement or whatever. But generally it's just one star, one star, one or no stars. So if we wanted to call through these images really quick, let's say one, 
zero, one, zero, zero, one, zero, 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 one, and so forth. Notice how quickly that can be, super fast. Now, once you're ready to edit, all you have to do is come down here to the box here. You see this little arrow, line, and arrow. If you click this, it's showing rating is greater than or equal to whatever amount of stars, rating is less than or equal to whatever amount of stars, and rating is equal to. Since I only use the one star system, rating is greater than or equal to, and then select one star, and it gets rid of all of my zero stars and gives me all of the images that I picked as selects to be edited and delivered to clients, just like that. And that's it. That is how to quickly go through and cull your images. So I hope this speeds up your process and makes your life that much easier. Um, really quick, I hope I've earned your subscription. So please hit that subscribe button and the like button. The like button, you guys don't know how much, how much that really does help. And uh, if you have any questions, you know where the comment section is, shoot me a comment and stay tuned because I am coming out with some awesome, awesome courses soon. And uh, I will keep you posted as that comes up. So that's it. I'll see you guys next week.